Hello, hola, chayo, bonjour, salam, hayo, marhaba. Welcome back to the channel of Indian Reactors. And today we are going to be reacting on a video which is top five festivals celebrated in China. So I'm very excited to watch this video because uh, I want to know more about the festivals celebrated uh, all around the world. And I think India is a country which has, you know, uh, you can say uh, in India, you can say large number of festivals are celebrated and I don't think so there is any other country as compared to India where you can say this amount of festivals are celebrated but uh, I know there are other countries where uh, festivals are celebrated so without wasting our time let's look at this video and see what are the who, top five festivals which are celebrated in China so let's see and if you are new to the channel, please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification updates. So, let's see. Today we're going to talk about the five biggest festivals in China. Coming in at number five is the Qingming Festival. This festival Qingming. is also known as Tomb Sweeping Day or Ancestors Day and is celebrated on the first day of the fifth solar term of the traditional Chinese calendar, which is around April. When celebrating, the Chinese go to visit their ancestors' graves to pray, sweep the tombs and offer food to show respect. This festival started some 2,000 years ago when Duke Wen of Jin had a retainer named Jie Zutui. After being Duke Wen's helper for a long time, he resigned and went to live in a forest. Duke Wen wanted him to come back, but his men couldn't find him. They set fire to the forest, but instead of coming out, Jie died there. After this, Duke Wen ordered his people to honor Jie for the three days every year in April. The fourth biggest festival is the Duanwu Jie or Dragon Boat Festival, which is celebrated every year on the fifth day of the fifth month, according to the lunar calendar. This means that the date changes every year, but it is usually celebrated in June. There is a variety of stories about the origin of the festival, but the most popular one goes like this. Chu Yan was a high-ranking official of the state of Chu during the Warring States period. He advised the king, but because of jealous ministers, he was dismissed and put into exile. When the Qin conquered Chu, Chu Yan committed suicide by drowning himself in the Miluo River on the fifth day of the fifth month. It is said that people sailed up and down the river while playing their drums to scare away the evil spirits. Oh. Now you can watch the dragon boat races every year when the festival is celebrated. So if you love the Chinese dragon, this is definitely the time you should consider coming to China. Yanshaojie, also known as Lantern Festival, is the third on the list. This is my personal favorite because of the beautiful red lanterns. Oh, the festival wow. marks the final day of the Chinese New Year and is celebrated in February or March. During the festival, people will light lanterns. The lanterns can symbolize that you are letting go of your old self and starting fresh. Just like when we jump down from the chair on New Year's Eve and start planning our new life. Number two on the list is the famous Mid-Autumn Festival, which is a harvest festival held on the 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar, when the full moon is hanging in the sky. It often falls in September or October during the harvest season, when families can get together oh, to give so thanks for the harvest. Nowadays, to, to celebrate the festival, friends and family get together and eat mooncakes while watching the full moon. So romantic. And now, finally, we have reached the biggest one, which is the Spring Festival, also called Tuanjie. It is celebrated every year at the turn of the traditional Chinese calendar. At this time, Beijing is emptying out and the trains are packed with people heading home to see family. Chinese people bring presents and red envelopes, also called Hongbao, with money inside to give to their loved ones. People 
will decorate their doors with red paper cuts, wishing their family good fortune and happiness. And families will eat together and light firecrackers. The year of the rooster has just begun, so let's get ready to achieve our goals set for this year. There you have it, the five biggest Chinese festivals. I hope you have written down the dates so you can participate. All right, so these were some festivals celebrated in China, and uh, I think few of them are pretty similar to the celebrated festivals, or you can say fe festivals celebrated in India, like uh, the Mid Autumn Festival, which is you can say it's same to the Basaki Festival, named after you know harvest of crops and the same type of thing you can say. And the last one was which was Chinese New Year and Spring Festival. I think it's also pretty similar to Diwali Festival celebrated in India, which is gone recently in India. And uh, I think these two festivals were pretty same as compare as you can see, as you compare them with the Indian festivals. These are just this change of name. And the one the first one which was an Ancestors Day named I don't know what it was named. It's pretty similar to the American festival. I think Americans also seem in the same way they celebrate their ancestors day. They just go to the graves of their ancestors and, uh, you know, offer food there and, in order to show respect. It's pretty similar to American festival. So you can say there's, you know, there's only change in names. Uh, all other festivals are pretty same to our culture. And uh, that really reminds me, you know, that the whole world is like a village and, you know, Although uh, you can say we are from the same, you can say our ancestors might be same, so the festivals are same, although there's difference in our, uh, you can say language and uh, other things, but uh, I have to say the festivals are pretty same, so I love this video, I mean, you know, uh, it's good to know that, you know, other countries are also having the same type of festivals and you know festivals bring out happiness and joy in our life so i think we should all should celebrate festivals with great pomp and show as it is celebrated in india so anyways guys thanks for watching this video thanks to all of you and uh, god bless you all